What up? I got nice skin here with me. This ain't a diss song. But, um, yeah, uh huh, you know what it is. I'm a cheese head, y'all niggas cheese whiz. Pittsburgh Steelers, that's nothing. That Super Bowl ring, that's nothing. Pull up in your town, yeah. Just want to praise the, the effort that our players have been giving all the way since since we started this thing back in OTAs and, and the off-season program. So really pleased with the effort. Really, I love this group of guys, man. They came together, what, what was, which is what we wanted them to do. And um, just can't say enough about the character in that locker room. Yeah, that's still. Uh, we'll we'll take a look at the tape, and uh, we'll come to that conclusion here in, in the next two days when we have to. What made you decide that Taylor should be your guard to start the season? I just think it's a comfort factor. You, you got an experienced player, and um, I think Elton is a guy that's got a lot 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 to learn. But I think there's a lot to like about Elton. I think he's got a bright future. Matt, I'm from German TV. Um, what do you think about the development of the team since Brown and during the camp weeks and um, his perspective after the injury last week? With EQ? Yeah, we're, we're not, I'm not going to get into the, his injury at all, but I, I love EQ as a player. I've got some familiar, familiarity with him from when I was at Notre Dame and, um, you know, love what he's all about. Are you, uh, are you okay with a quarterback hurdling a guy in the open field? He made, he made a miss. That was a heck of a play by Manny. Um, yeah, I mean, it, you, you, you better make the guy miss if, if you're going to do that. But he did, he did a tremendous job, and I was happy to see that from him. Now, when it comes to your kickers, what do you think um, you saw from both Mason and Sam this summer? And, and is there much that separates those guys other than experience? Yeah, yeah no, I think that that's the key right there is, is you got one guy that's a young young kicker and the other guy that's got years of experience. So um, certainly I think it was, it's been a close competition throughout. How do you think it went for Luke? I thought Luke did a great job. You know, there were some things that we missed out there, a, a couple opportunities that, that, you know, some plays that we'd like to have back. Um, but I thought all in all, I thought his, just the pace at which he got the plays in, he was decisive. Uh, gave our guys a chance to go out and execute. I know you wanted to do that so you could kind of step back and take mm -hmm. a broader. So how did did you accomplish maybe what you had hoped to in that way, or, or what did you make of not having that responsibility? Yeah, no, there, it, it, there was a lot to take in, that's for sure. Um, you know, it, it definitely gives you a better view of just the overall game management. Um, it gave me the opportunity to observe just us, how we even break a huddle how guys are getting in and out, getting up to the line of scrimmage, and then also just afforded me more of an opportunity to, to listen in on the defensive side of the ball and, and just how that communication was going from, you know, uh, the play call to the huddle and, and, and just having a better idea of exactly what was going on in terms of the guy's execution on the field. Matt, you, you know, you accomplished one goal for sure tonight, and that's keeping most of your starters healthy by not playing them. What, how do you kind of, with that 30,000-foot view, look at your preseason and what you accomplished, what maybe you didn't quite get done that you wanted to, and how you feel like where you are? Yeah, I think until you, until you get out in the regular season, you never truly quite know. But I think we feel good about the preparation, the work that we put in. Um, I think, you know, our guys have come together. I think they really understand what is being asked of them, the expectations, not only from schematics, but when you, when you talk about uh, the expectations of, of practice and how we're going to practice and operate as a team. I know you won't talk about, no need for specifics on this, but, I mean, James Crawford had to leave with an injury. Randy Ramsey didn't finish the game. I mean, the linebacker, your linebacking group has been affected, let's put it that way, in the last few weeks. I mean, is there any, any concern there just overall as, as you head to the weekend? Or? No, I think we'll be okay. You know, I, you know, at the tail end of the game, we were certainly low on bodies, for, not only in, in, in the linebacking core, but in the secondary as well. You know, we had some guys cramping up as well. And, um, but, you know, I, again, I think it's just because those guys put everything out there and, and they gave it their all.
You had a guy who you signed today blocking on that touchdown run. Have you ever seen something like that? No, that's your... a first. That's a first. A matter of fact, when Goody told me we were signing him this morning, uh, I was like, or last night, and um, I was like, I've never seen that happen before. And then the fact that he had to go in the game, and that's a credit to Adam Stenovich and Luke Buckus getting those guys ready to play. Um, it's a credit to D Dijon to, to be able to go in there and execute. And also a credit to the other guys that were out there helping him along the way. Thank you. You guys as a staff grade this tape just like you would any other, or did you just have to get right into you know, the cut evaluations and then Chicago? Yeah, no, we'll, we'll take a, a, a peek at it quickly. But, you know, we've been, we've been preparing pretty hard for, for the Bears. Um, you know, really all week long. We had a group that was focused on this game to help these young players go in there and just so that they can go out and execute because it's important It's important for, for every guy in that locker room to, to put good stuff on film because, like we told them, it's not only for our team, it's for the entire league to see. How do you think this preseason went for you personally? You got thrown the curveball of Rodgers back, tightening up before the Baltimore game. You had the field thing last week. How do, you, how do you kind of think you, you handled the ups, downs, and challenges that you faced? I just take it in stride. I think, uh, again, we'll have a better indication as we go. But, I've, again, I feel good. I've, what's so comforting to me is just to have the staff that we have and the players that we have. It definitely, we're in it together. Um, and that doesn't make the task too daunting when you when you feel like you have really, really good help around you. So, I just love my team. Yeah, that's the team with them big G's on the helmet.